Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampath, you are watching Sampath Samfax YouTube channel and this is Redmi Note 7 Pro, you guys can see. Now we are going to flash Android 14, Dub Fish ROM. I am currently in Proton Plus ROM. You can watch that dedicated video in my channel and many videos are there regarding Redmi Note 7 Pro. You can check it out. Here I will explain how to flash Android 14 ROM, whether the uh, recovery has been updated or not let's check that and by the way if you first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below guys and also follow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like and let's begin this video initially boot into recovery as you can see there is advanced no advanced restart button is available press power button and volume up button to boot into recovery you need to download the rom zip file of android 14 and also the twrp latest recovery currently i have this version of twrp you guys can see on the screen now i need to update it let me show you this one i need to update to this version now you can download this i will be giving this in the description you can check out in the description the download link will be given for this particular twrp it is supported for 114 roms once you boot into recovery you just swipe here to confirm it and select install and select here image and wherever you download it select that i need to select the micro sd card because i selected there i mean i stored there download as you can see recovery.img select that select it as a recovery and swipe here to confirm flash it will directly boot into the latest twrp recovery no it's not booted you need to manually select reboot and select the recovery now it will boot into the latest twrp recovery for redmi note 7 pro i mean the violet as you can see this is the latest version by joker you can see twrp recovery yeah once it has been done okay again swipe here to confirm it now go to wipe section here and select advanced swipe and select dalvik system vendor cache product cost metadata and data don't select usb storage and micro sd and internet storage apart from that select all and select here swipe to wipe it done yes done now go to install and select uh, storage wherever you downloaded the rom zip file and all micro sd why it is not selecting yeah let me do one thing select storage settings mount select mount and select here micro sd card select storage no it's not getting here we'll do one thing again reboot to recovery no os has been installed reboot to recovery yes will boot into recovery again and these are the problems you might also face so follow these kind of steps allow modifications done install select here sd card now yeah similar problem even now we'll do one thing again go to install here or else advanced uh, fix contacts and select here fail to mount okay now we'll do one thing settings again go here and select usually it should work advanced settings copy log file manager why the sd card is not showing here we'll do one thing we'll use otg now now let's see and connect this uh, pen drive otg will it work or not select storage yeah it is going to work for some reason sd card is not working anyhow 
I will show this Darfest 14 official alpha. There are two versions 2023, 10, 12, and 10, 10, 18 is the latest one. Flash the ROM. You can see Android version 14 and build date is also latest one October 18th. I recommend to flash the similar ROM. There was a problem, guys. Once you flash this TWRP, the SD card is not recognized. Maybe for me at least if you are coming from different ROM it is not going to happen with you but anyhow I want to show this problem uh, hope you guys will know that and keep this uh, OTG or even you can remove the SD card and insert once check it out also you have option to add through PC indirectly to internal storage that can also be done but for some reason SD card is not working once you flash the latest TWRP recovery for Redmi Note 7 Pro that you need to keep in mind. Technically this is the first Android 14 custom ROM for uh, Redmi Note 7 Pro. Yeah, There were some ports actually Pixel 7 port or 6A port those are betas and developer previews but this is stable update from Darfest however it is also coded as alpha but let's see this is how the flashing method has been done i already done format data we'll do once again press this yes and press this tick button done now select here home again and select reboot and select the system this is how simple the flashing method of 114 rom what are the problems i faced hope you guys won't face it just use this kind of otg or else store it in internal storage once you uh, format the data you can store it to internal storage as you can see now it's booted into Darfest we'll set up this guys later we'll meet you with these features let's see what all the features are available let's see in this video stay tuned till the end of the video as you can see now I have been using little bit of time with this custom ROM I will not going to give benchmark results or anything like that because still it's in alpha you won't get any of the DARF features also just this Android 14 logo I mean the easter egg you get it I'll just come back will it come back or not no yeah this is the easter egg you get this is an android 14 alpha you can see for violet i mean the redmi note sample and october 5th 2023 is the latest security patch and kernel you can see 4.14.255 xcalibur version 3.0 kernel su kernel has been used here i'm downloading a little bit of stuff here you get just this kind of basic camera in upcoming builds might get anx camera support as you can see smoothness i haven't felt that much smooth uh, but I think it takes a little bit of time. This is how the settings panel. Nothing changed here. Just the major changes. This one, the wallpaper and style. You guys can see now. Now you can change the clock style. Just swipe left and right. You get multiple type of clocks here. That's the major change you will going to see in Android 14. Now it's just that you can also select here colors as you can see. For example, this one or else this one whatever the wallpaper you can choose the colors other colors options is also given if you want to make uh, this one yeah that can be done and dark theme also you can apply from here will slightly go back yeah clock color style again size also you can adjust if you want you can make it smaller one or if you want bigger just select dynamic let me show you now as you can see this how the lock screen looks this is the only visual change you will going to get in this particular Android 14. I also shown some of the other things you can check out there. And if I going to take screenshot here, yeah, as you can see, this all the visual changes. Now this share icon and edit icon one more time. Share icon and edit icon is a little bit different now. And quick settings also you get this animations. If I turn on Bluetooth, as you can see, and flashlight also. These are some visual changes, nothing change or anything like that in Android 14. We'll show some other settings too. Will they have added or not? In the battery again, you get these kind of options here. 
battery usage you can see like this battery saver battery widget this is an android 14 little bit tweaking has been done in terms of widgets also animations yeah definitely we should speak about animations in android 14 if i press and hold here as you can see now it's little bit faster you won't notice huge difference but once you use android 13 and come back to android 14 there is slight animation improvement in android 14 also that's one more change you get in android 14 nothing more here and i'll show you the cpu this one safety and status it will get passed but i recommend to wait few more days in order to use it as a daily driver currently i don't recommend because you might get a next camera pre-installed you should wait for that also other results will be showing once those builds are available nothing huge change in terms of visualization i also spoken it about in me 11 next video you can check out that's actually a pixel 7 pro hybrid port there i have spoken much about that uh, you can check out that one as you can see nothing new here even in the gesture bar you won't get any adjustments of bar and length there is missing here the dark fest settings as you can see there is no customizations as of now because it's in alpha 8 you need to wait for official builds yet uh, these are the things what i want to show you this is like first glance for you for it be not some for this with dark fest voice i hope you guys like the video if you like the video give it a like and if you're still not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button guys we'll meet you with another interesting video guys until that keeps smelling bye bye for now